feels like Pokemon 151 just came out, but we're already getting excited about the new Paradox Rift set. There are so many cool cards coming out in this set, and today we're taking a look at a couple of them in a tabletop tournament style video. We're taking a look at Garchomp EX. It can accelerate energy and do bench damage for low counts of energy itself. So it's a really cool support slash attacking Pokemon, and it's gonna be opposed by Screamtail, another brand new Pokemon from Paradox Rift that can do 20 damage times the amount of damage counters on it to any of your opponent's Pokemon, naturally making it the perfect partner with Gardevoir EX. I'm joined by Paul on Garchomp and Daniel on Screamtail, so we're gonna hop into some games and see which of these two decks can take home the crown. Before we get into the video, I just wanna give a huge shout out to the sponsor of the channel, PTCGL Store. If you need codes, you know where to go. Head on over to ptcgostore.com and use code HITMON to get 5% off your order. You get a good product for a good price and you help out the channel as well. So again, thank you so much to the sponsor and thank you so much to you for supporting the channel. And now we're gonna get back into this tabletop game. You wanna call? I'll go for tails. Tails and his heads. So Damn. I'll go first. Okay, not bad. Uh, uh, and got a mulligan. Cool. I will take free cards. You have a basic. Yeah. Shell the mulligan. Good luck. All right, good luck, Siri. Try for turn. Start it out with a VIP pass. And let's see what we got in here. I think I definitely want to grab Greninja. A decent amount of energy in hand. Thinking I will go in the risky route of like Ninja Mew, no Ralts, and then try and Ninja plus Mew into another VIP pass, but that seems kind of sketchy, so I think I'll probably just play it safe and get like Ninja Ralts. Uh, we'll just not go for Mew, unless I find something good off the Ninja, which is always possible as well. So I'll VIP pass, I'll grab Radiant Greninja and Ralts, put them onto my bench. And then in a second, I'll use Concealed Cards, hopefully find maybe some more basic search. Can I go? All right, concealed cards. Oh my gosh, and we do find it. That's so, I'm like crazy at this game. Yeah, so you with that, a good card or something. I think I'll get, <laughs> maybe another Ralts and Mew, I think seems good. Go for those guys. Um, and Garchomp does have an attack to snipe the bench, but I'm, Almost considering not even getting Manaphy in this matchup. It's only a one Pokemon snipe. It's not like Raiding Greninja where it takes two and it's really bad for you. Um, so as long as I'm not like single Ralts forward state and that one Pokemon would really cripple me, I don't really care too much if something gets sniped. Especially if there's an attacker set up and it's like snipe a curly, it's like, okay, I'll just swing again with my attacker. So we're probably fine on that note, I think. Does Screamtail do only to the bench or to the actual? Anywhere. anywhere. It's just one of your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, so I will go attach retreat Screamtail to Mew, use Mysterious Tail, look at my top six, and grab an item that I find there, and I will grab a Fog Crystal and play it, which will let me search for a Psychic Pokemon, a Basic Psychic, or an Energy, but I want a Basic Psychic because I'm going to get a third Rolls down. So we have a really solid board state set up, and I did cut down on candies because um, it kind of feels like, I also cut an Arcana, so it's only one Arcana, and it's like, it feels like you're not really racing out card where you actually can kind of just slow play to turn three. Um, but if you do find the candy, we could be attacking with Screamtail as early as next turn, but I think I'm good to just pass for now. All right, drop a turn. Okay, uh, I'll just start off with a Steven Heavy Ball, so you're gonna have my Vice cards. No basic, so I'll fail the Heavy Ball. Nothing too crazy in that Vice cards. That's fine. I will then go for Trigon Shoes, look at the top card. Uh, I will keep it, and then I will use Concealed Cards, discard the Fighting Energy Drop 2. Oops. Uh, I will then use Trigon Shoes again, discard it. <laughs> Pretty good, okay. So I will bench the Bidoof. I will also attack for turn to the Greninja. And I'll play Iono. Sure. I'll just card off of the Trigon Shoes. Nice, nice. Saved by the, the card, I assume. Yeah. <laughs> no other basics down, so. Okay, fine. Okay, good. I'll draw six new ones. Also, 
also pretty decent. I'm fine with that. And my last hand, so it's, I'm kind of indifferent to the Iono there. Um, nothing too crazy. Let's go for my Dragon Shoes again. Discard it. Okay. Um, I will put down the Artisan. True. I don't think it really affects you because you have a full bunch already. Yeah. Helps me a lot. Uh, I will then go for Ultra Ball. Discarding the Ultra Ball. I don't do this, but I kind of think I have to. Just gotta get a little Ultra Ball. Ooh. Kinda yeah, sucks. Yeah, that's a little unfortunate. Um, actually, what's kind of cool here is... I can get a Mui X and bench oh, it. Okay. And I'll use Artisan. Actually, I think I'll probably save it. So you could wait, yeah. yeah. I think it's better to draw first, keep a basic in there. At least the Artisan still gu guarantees you a single gable. Yeah. But restart maybe finds you another one, so that's like all right. And I'll use Resort, just draw one. Yep. And I'll use Artisan to get myself a gable, and I'll pass my turn. All right, I'll draw. So because Paul only got single Gable down and it's really the only threat, I'm gonna see if I can try to reach for a EX turn two and snipe it with Scream Tail. Um, and there's a decent shot I get there. I have a couple Curlies in hand and Candy. I literally just need the EX. I'm actually gonna level ball for a third, refine the Curlia, just to thin the deck ahead of time. And on the chance we whiff EX, I can just evolve it up at the end. But it's just good sequencing because I'm not really looking for more Curlias. I've got a bunch of hand already. So I'll evolve, I'll go refinement, energy, and I did get the EX, so we're really cooking now. Uh, Curlia, refinement, and then, oh actually I should have been using concealed cards, but we're not punished, I did continue to find energy, so that's cool. Concealed cards, and then I will go rare candy, EX, and I need, what, four energy for Screamtail? I do have those accessible to me, so that's good. For Mysterious Tail. Oops, I think that was just the next card there that I flung. Um, it can be, actually, I think Vacuum's pretty good to just get rid of the Artisan. I just don't want you to have that. Yeah, <laughs> maybe sort of gets Scream Tail is putting in the work as early as yeah. turn two. Let's go. Okay, so then I will go Lost Vacuum. Like my artisan, I don't really care for mine either. I'll just get rid of that. And then I will use Psychic Embrace to put one energy on Mew. Take a 20, and I'm just going to use that to retreat. And then I'm going to go up with Scream Tail. And I'm going to use Psychic Embrace to put four energy on Scream Tail. I think it's only two. No, 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 it's 20 per. So I, 20 per damage. Oh, yeah, no, sorry, you're right. Actually, you only need four. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you only need two energy. I don't think you need to catch these. Two. Yeah, wait, I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah, 24. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you're right there. New new usage. Oh, yeah. Let me get these ones. Uh, new card. I forget how it works. Scream feels even crazier. I only needed two energy the whole time. Broken card. Um. And then, yeah, so I'll Psychic Embrace two energy, which will put 40 damage on Scream Tail, and then it'll do 20 per. So it'll be doing 80 snipe with Roaring Scream. So I'll Roaring Scream the Gibble. Damn. Snipe okay. him off the bench and I'll take a prize. Drop a turn. Mm. Okay, so how many cards do I have in here? I have five. I don't want to get rid of here. So I'll start off by just going Ultra Ball. I found my fourth and last Ultra Ball. Uh, I think I'm just going to want to just draw cards at this point. So I'll just get down the barrel Probably here. makes sense, yeah. And something really cool actually is I could just next turn ramp my Screamtail even harder to eight full damage counters and snipe like Mew yes. or something. Yeah, if I can find Big Charm, <laughs> I could just snipe the Mew off the board. So sequencing, uh, I'll use Restart first, draw yeah. two. Uh, I'll bench the Riolu. Adjusting sizes for three cards. Okay, um, and then I will go for two cards. Okay, I will then go for Irida. Mm -hmm. Give myself a water Pokemon and an item card. Thing is, I don't have an item card to get <laughs> more Gibbles down. 
Because these are all my ultra balls and my Oh no. Last you don't play ball. nest balls? I play two nest balls, one of them is in my hand, the other one's prize. What are the rest of your items? VIP pass? Yeah. Yeah, cringe card. <laughs> I hate it. I mean, it kind of- you just used two? <laughs> I, I might have had like an insane setup from playing two turn one, but don't worry about it. Mm. When you don't find it, then it's an issue, right? That's why I don't like the card. But... The fact that I can only get one Gibble down, you can snipe right away. Pew! Actually, if we put down Manaphy, it can't. You could, yeah. But, I don't like Manaphy. But not a nice boss card. is like not that fun. <laughs> uh, I'll just get down Gartron BX and all the other items, I guess. Getting three candy is not bad for next turn. Hopefully, no Iono will be coming. Sure. Uh, I'll go back in. Sorry, I'm gonna have a nice ball in hand. Yeah. Uh, I will bench Manaphy. No. Nest ball. My greatest weakness. <laughs> For another Gibble. Hoping that there's not gonna be a boss's orders coming up. Yeah, so now I do actually have to boss Gibble. I'm ready. Um, and with that, I think I'll just pass. Okay. Try for turn. Um, the Fog Crystal? Yes, I think the best play here probably is just boss Gibble if I can find it. I do still play Cresselia in the deck to be able to snipe like through Manaphy or like pick off Manaphy itself, but since my board's full, I won't be able to do that. I'll go Concealed Cards. And Refinement or the AP Pass. That's just a dead card now. Um, refinement uh, Curly. Ooh, I do find Boss. That's nice. Then I'll go evolve one of these, Shining Arcana. And then I'll play Boss's Orders on Gibble. Because Grimtail can still hit the active, and I, I can't snipe the bench because of Manaphy there. So now I can knock out the Gibble. I don't think there's anything else I want to do, so I'm going to go Roaring Scream and be active. Knock out Gibble. Okay. With no Gibbles down, got a drop return. No way to search for Gibbles. I have no Gibbles down. <laughs> I yeah. kind of feel like it's just yeah, time for this. Sounds like a scoop. Yeah. Unfortunately, I saw zero VIP pass. Dan saw two. <laughs> and I don't know. So, unfortunately, I saw no VIP pass from Dan. But, yeah. I mean, Dan's still Gardevoir. Like, set up half these. You only have so much draw power. You can get there pretty easily. Okay, I'll go first this time. Yeah, it's fine. And works for me. Okay. And it's really nothing. <laughs> it's just really nothing, honestly. <laughs> Dang, bro. Sounds like you gotta draw cards better. Good luck, good luck. Draw. Patch, pass. Oh boy. I'll draw for turn. I will VIP yeah, pass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably gonna get Mew in a row. Actually, I could get Ninja here too. Yeah, I like that. Um, well, let's get, well, let's see if it's in there. Well, let's new. Pretty Greninja, that's cool. So we'll grab those two. And then, I think the best sequencing would be to shuffle here first and concealed cards. And then I'll go with like Mysterious Tail or Level Ball. In hand. So we'll go. Concealed cards, discard a psychic, I'll draw two. Um, you find Drifloon. I think Drifloon's like more useful later in the game, to be honest. Before Paul sets up, I want to be attacking with Screamtail. Uh, and then Drifloon can kind of do big damage to the act later. So I'll go. Level ball. For another Ralts. And then. I don't really want to Iono Paul because his hand seems to suck. And a lot of my hand is just energies, and since I only have one energy in discard, I don't mind just getting a bunch of them in discard. I think I'm actually just gonna rip research. It's probably safe just in case I whiff an energy since I do have a bunch in hand. Maybe I don't find one, just in case. Uh, I'll attach there so I can retreat to Mew, but uh, I'm gonna go Professor's Research. And I'll draw seven. Okay, well, we found energies, that's fine. Uh, wow, that was a solid hand, actually. <laughs> Um, I think we can go 
I think I'll just retreat first. Because I have like level balls and ultra balls in hand, but those could probably be saved for evolutions. Let's see if Mysterious Tail can hit like another VIP pass first. Just find basics out. We do. That's very good. <laughs> Dude, this deck's broken. <laughs> Holy. Okay, so I think I want to get Screamtail Ralts. Yep, that's great. <laughs> Seems good. Absolute duality of that. <laughs> Gardevoir is just Gardevoir. It's so good. And like Screamtail is super cool. I actually really like this card. You just snipe anything really easily. Like, sure, you have Cresselia, but the thing is, Cress is not sustainable because the energies stay on board. If they don't answer Screamtail, it can just attack again without you doing anything else. Um, even without Charm, it can still do 160, so you can just snipe a Bax, which is really cool if they don't have Manaphy. And then with things like Charm and um, Gorgeous Mantle, I can just, like, Gorgeous Mantle especially, you can just at the end of the game attach Gorgeous Mantle to Screamtail and snipe a V Max off the board for 360, which is just absolutely insane. It's so cool. Um, so yeah, I think I'm good for turn one. I'll just pass. Cool. Drop turn. Oh! There it is! Great card! What yeah. a good card that we would have liked to see last turn. Uh, I'll just... I don't know. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, my hand is pretty good, actually. It's too bad. I had a lot of ball search in there. Let's see if we can still get something decent here. Uh, definitely not as good, but playable. Okay, so two VIP pass. Wow, okay. Uh, I'll just go for Heavy Ball. Yep. Uh, I guess actually getting Manaphy is somewhat Probably, relevant. Probably, yeah. Uh, Still good. Okay. Especially because if you don't get anything else, your Gibble's getting dogged. Okay, I will bench the Manaphy. Yep. I'll also bench the Mew EX. Yep. Uh, and then I think I'll Ultra Ball. Oh wait, that will be a P pass. Yes. Okay, you're, you're chilling now. <laughs> you can yeah. play the game. You can play. Uh, yeah, sure. You get to play. Manaphy's not good for me either. I don't I don't like that card. I think I probably just want to get a Bidoof down, so if I find a barrel, I'm able to use it. Would you like to cut? Uh, I don't know if sequencing order. Is it Mew or Dragon Shoes first? I think it might be. I think it should be shoes. Yeah, I'll start with shoes. Because the card could be playable. Hmm, it's not playable, but it's nice for next turn. It's actually nice for this turn if I get it. Uh, I'll keep it. Sure. And then I'll just restart for two. Okay. Um, I think I don't want my... Bench the Riolu. And I don't want my Gibble going down. It's my only one. What's like the best target in the active spots? Probably. Feels like Riolu or Manaphy. The thing is that I don't have a pivot for next turn if I get the Garchomp BX, and I kind of want to pivot. I don't know if it's the Mew. I mean, Give me Mew feels bad, because if I find Charm, I can kill it with Scream Tail. I mean, how many energies do you need to kill? It's 180, you do 20, so it's like, what, nine, nine damage counters? So you have to, you have to find Charm and Candy Guardy. Yeah, do and that. five and another energy. Yeah, it's, like, sure. it's not. It's it's a quite a bit. So I think I'll just take the risk. I mean, I'm already losing at this point. Uh, I'll just promote the Mew EX. Yeah, and I'll probably attack return to the Gibble hmm. and pass. All right, Charger. So what is the play? My hand is not the best. So. Could try and like. I'd have to get really lucky to find Candy Garrity here with not a lot of draw. I'd have to like keep f digging, drawing into like refinements to keep going, or just like Candy Gardevoir off the top, which doesn't seem likely. So I think I'm just gonna let Paul get away with his like shoddy setup and not punish it that hard. I mean, it's possible I could get Screen Tail Charm and kill the Mew, but I think I'm just gonna play a little safer because I did want to go something like Boss Gibble or Manaphy, something like that. But I don't have Candy EX. I think bossing Gibble is way more important than killing. Yeah, 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 for sure. I would be bossing Gibble if I could, but uh, I don't think the hand's gonna get there, so I think I'm just gonna level ball for Curlia. And then. Uh, I'll just, I don't know. Which also seems bad, because I'm giving you a lot more cards, but my hand's kinda shaky. 
it's a lot of like niche use stuff, like Gorgeous Mantle. I have both rods in hand, so I don't really care for that. Okay, so a little bit better. Go refinement onto another, or evolve up another Corellia. I have two refinements still, which is good. Go refinement Cresselia. Uh, fog Crystal. Get a Psychic Energy. So right now just digging for Candy Guardy? Yeah, I think so. I need, what, five energy to be able to knock out Mew with Charm? Oh, I thought that Stream Tail had a nose, it was just like dirt. Oh, <laughs> I drew my own nose on Stream Tail. Go Conceal Cards. And... Refinement. And Mysterious Tail. Yes, I'll take the level ball. I'll play that. I did whiff. You can go for a further. Uh, I think I might have prized a candy. That's probably why. Yeah, there's only one candy in deck. Okay. It wasn't that crazy that I, I missed it. I just didn't bother to prize check that. Grab a Curlia. That's fine. We can just chill. Our setup's still pretty strong. And then just pop off next turn. <laughs> I don't find anything to do with it. Alright, we'll see, I guess. Um, I don't wonder if I'm in here. Oh, that seems fine. Five on two. And I can just throw Bravery Charm on Screen Tail now in case I get a on of. And I'll pass. All right. I'll drop a turn. Dan gave me an insane hand now. So I'm so yeah. happy. I don't know if it's probably questionable. But... I'll love the booth boost into the barrel. I'll love the real into Lucario. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll start off with the Trigon Shoes. I think I'll... Hmm, I think I'll discard it. Draw. Okay. Uh, probably, I think I'm going to go for... I don't like doing this, but I think I just have to draw cards. I'll draw with Double Rod. Uh, I'll get myself Card Trumpy X. I'll probably go back in, I think. Uh, Ray Candy, Card Trumpy X. Then Artisan. Mm -hmm. Use Artisan. I don't know if I want to get Greninja down or if I want to get... You can't get Greninja. No, I mean, I think... Uh, do I, do I want, to or fail want to fail it to try and get Greninja? Or do I just get it. another Gibble for a Gibble? Probably seems better. Yeah. Uh, now I get to draw cards with a barrel. Maybe I also think I'll use wrong results. Actually, no. I think it's better just so I have it in deck. So I, if I draw into it, I can discard it to get the full effect of Hydrolander, which would be better than just accelerating to Lucario right now. So sequencing wise, it makes sense to Mew and then the barrel. So I'm gonna cut. I'll use res the restart ability to draw three cards. I'll draw up to three. Um, nothing to do with this hand. So I'll just it's just inside just for two cards. Mm, okay. To be honest with you, it may have made more sense to go to Empathics, but if I retreat, I get an energy in the discard pile, but. Only starting one energy with this. I could just go for this snipe with Sonic Dive right now. Maybe cripple with Dance it up a little bit. It's at what 140 HP on the screen tail, right? Now with the charm. Uh yep. So with Sonic Dive, he can't attach two energies to it. If I Sonic Dive the screen tail, this can't attach two energies to it to swing. You would have to do like Arcana and attack an energy to attack with the screen tail. Or I could just go for one of the Curlia's, maybe damage the setup a little bit, or I set up my board. There's a lot of options I actually have with my deck right now. I think I definitely don't want to just set up a little bit more. I think Scream Tail is a little bit scary, but how much damage can you do maximum? If you're at 140, 120, it what does 20 times, 20 times six, right? Or 20 times 12. Oh, you lost <laughs> How much damage is this <laughs> doing? How much is damage is doing if that's full? If it has, it's like at one max point. damage. Max 120 damage. on it, it'd be 240. 240, so it's not really doing much. Okay. So with that, I think I'll. 
think I just play it safe. Catch the Garchomp X, retreat for turn, and then. I'll also use Run Resolve here to accelerate the energy there. I'll take two, thank you. And then I think it's better just for me to go for Sonic Dive. So Sonic Dive does discard two energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 120 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Since there's no Manaphy on Daniel's side, I would just use Sonic Dive to do 120 damage to the Curly. This is in play, right? Yeah. Let's start with Conceal. I can drop it. Yep. Um, okay. What's my best play here? I'm trying to figure out. Crushing Manaphy could be pretty good. I need to discard both rods. Yeah, right? I think if, Man if I kill Manaphy, I don't think it ever comes back. So I think I'm actually getting Artisan. Ooh. Wait, I discarded. I did. Okay. That is fine. Um, what's super odd? Of course, on that first. Uh, we'll allow it. We'll allow it. It's fine. Uh, are we just gonna? Yeah, let's just pretend. Okay, we'll just pretend that I did that first and then artisan. <laughs> <laughs> that seems better than me being a silly guy. The goofy guy? Yeah. Okay. Um,. Find an artisan. Find an a psychic. Excuse me. Oh, that's an option as well, actually. Okay. Uh, candy's the only thing here, so I'll just take it. It's not very good, but I might be going back in actually. I'll evolve to ex. Ultra Ball away. Do we have in here? Seven. I could just dump the candy, I think, actually. Seems okay. And. A Psychic. For. Arcana. I just want to do that so that way um, I can't get sniped again because I'm fine with just going 1EX, no other options, because this deck can't really boss up a Gardevoir and nuke it. Um, it doesn't really seem feasible. Lucario could with like a million energy, but Gardevoir's also resistant to fighting too. He needs so much. I think I need like six, probably. Six, yeah. 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 Cause five is 310, but yeah. because it's resistant, so it's 340. There's no way you're doing it next turn, and the turn after that, Screamfield should be set up, so even if Gardevoir gets boss killed, it's the kind of thing of like, Gardevoir having a uh, reversal and you just can go up and smack again. So I'm not super concerned about that, honestly. Um, yeah, so we'll go Psychic Embrace. One, two, um, three, and maybe four in case Screamtail gets sniped. I can still attack with it. Yeah, I can just attach and attack for full damage if I want to Sonic type that. So these all have 20 for the purpose of saving. Placing damage counters and moving them immediately. Uh, there's 80 on board, so I'll move Glow Reverse, Manaphy, and those will get healed. Sure. Drop from a turn. Hmm. Okay, uh, I'll just start off, I think, by playing Nest Ball. Let me my deck real quick. I think maybe getting into good here. Maybe Ninja's not bad. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just grab the Ninja. I don't have any energies in hand though. And I need energies to accelerate. I only have one, two, three. I only have three energies in deck, so Ninja just kind of feels counterproductive. Maybe Mess Balling. Maybe I just want to set up another Lucario over here. I have another Gibble. I think I might fail the Nest Ball. I'll bench real open hand. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'll. Mm -hmm. I don't want to boss up that. Do I have another EX in deck? Do I have another EX in deck? So I think I'll Ultra Ball away Doof and Garchomp. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I'll probably fail it. Yeah. I mean, I'm taking a risk here by bossing. I think I want to boss up the Arcana right now. Okay. So limit draw power, because the only draw power you have on, on board is just uh, Greninja at this point. So, that. It's a risk though. Do I draw first or do I boss? This is an extra card. I think I'll just start off by using restart, draw two. Okay. And then I'll use Dustin Sizers to draw two. Okay. So I did get the energy, so I'll attack return to the Garchomp EX. Mm. If I haven't got the yellow walk card in hand, right? Pretty decent amount. Nine. Nine cards. So killing the maybe just going for Ion is a safer play. I own it to five. Yeah, I think that's fine. So then I'll just go for Ion here. Mm -hmm. I think bossing up the Archon is fine, but the fact that you have nine cards in hand, you probably have everything you need in hand either way. So I own Zero hug. Okay. So I will then go for Fair Candy, Garchomp BX. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll use Dragon Shoes. Discard it. I'll then go for Dragon Shoes. Discard it. And then I will use Hydra Lander to do 160 damage and I get to accelerate three energies to my bench Pokemon in any way I like. I do have three because I did discard energies from the Sonic Guide. So. Ooh, before that, I'm gonna use. No. Yeah, I'll use Wrong Resolve, sorry. Sequencing. I let Dan take something back. I get to take something back too. Yeah, I'll attach to there. Uh, and then, yeah, I'll use Hydro Lander to knock it out. And maybe going maybe going for the attaching Mew X could be good, but there's not really much in play to KO. Like, I've KO'd the Mew X. I mean, sorry, I'll use Mew X to boss up Guard, to boss up Greninja, and KO the. Mew and maybe a Ralph's Fury Venture, but that seems... Because it accelerates. Because it's just any way you like. Any way I like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just your bench on any way you like, yeah. So, I'll attach two energies to the Garchomp EX, and... I think I'll attach one to the Rio bench as well. Alright. I'll take an pass card. So, I think I'm gonna go for Screamtail here. Draw a turn. I'll go... Level Ball. Grab a Rolts, punch that. I actually could have already done more of it. Ah, right, whatever. I don't mind thinning that out anyways. Um, go Pencil Curse. Um, Shining Arcana. How many cards do you have in there? Uh, four. Four. I know it's not really doing much. I don't know if I care too much to do that. Ooh, actually, what I think is a decent play in mind. Um, I think I'm gonna go boss Bieberall. Hopefully you don't have a switch out. And then I'm gonna go need what? To kill which one? I want to kill Mew. Yeah, I think so Mew. 180, you need 9 damage counters on it. So it means 9, which is 5. So I will Psychic Embrace 5 energy to Screamtail. It will take 100, and because of the Bravery Charm, it's not just going to get knocked out. Let's play 2 Charm. Yeah, you could vacuum it away or something like that. That is a possibility, but I'm going to just take that risk. I think I'll go... A Attach return to Shining Arcana. And then I'm gonna Roaring Scream Mew EX for knockout. Take two prizes and hopefully strand the beat rule. And I can just snipe again, is the goal. True. I'll just I'll drop the turn. Go for Mess Ball. Do you have a rope and deck? Okay. And then last minute, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> uh, I'll fail the Nest Ball because I don't really have anything. Deck. Uh, no. Yeah, I'll probably just fail the 
Build a nest ball. Um, I don't think I'm going back in yet. Hmm. Bench the Gibbles, because I don't have another guard from the deck, but I just want to thin out my deck so I can draw cards. So I guess I'll just bench the Gibble, I think. Um, I'll also attach her turn to the Riolu. And then I'll use Industrial Incisors to draw three cards. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I didn't find it, but I get to use Gyrida. So I'll evolve the Riolu into Lucario. Go for Gyrida. Mm -hmm. I don't have any water Pokemon, so I'll just grab the escape rope and I'll play it. Good enough. Okay. Playing it. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense pretty much all the time. Okay. Hmm. I don't have any energy in the scope house, so Hydroline doesn't really benefit us. I'll just promote the Garchomp. No, actually, this one because it has two energy. Or yeah, it's sniped. Um, and then I'll go for a Sonic Dive to 120 damage to. Hmm, I think I probably just want to take the five cards on my own box. Okay. Now we're getting interesting. 3 3. Okay, let's start with Fog Crew. Uh, actually, just Artisan. Let's get some there. Okay. I'll take the Psychic. Or, sorry, that, that was there. Okay, so yeah, now I'll put the Fog. I'll take a Psychic. Do you have the Artisan? Uh, no, I'm not gonna. Because uh, I could get some enough Artisan. Maybe I'll just get Mana for you. Stop you from sniping things, finally. Yeah. Seems fine. That's getting pretty thin. I am actually looking for something in particular, so I'm gonna Mew first, because I'm not looking for an item. Uh, oh, it's actually six. Okay, there's not a lot in deck at all. Uh, I'll take the Super Rod, it's the only one there. What are you looking for in the deck? No. That's why I tailed first. Uh, you wanna go? No, it's fine. Okay, let's go Conceal Cards. Or... No, there's too many energy on screen, but yeah, can conceal cards. For a second, I was like, oh, I could go knock out with Arcana if I went attached, but I forgot all the energy around Screamtail, so they're kind of trapped there right now. So Screamtail is our guy. So... Three cards in deck. I don't think you have any way to mill me. I got out on deck goes back to being big, so that's cool. Oh no, now I'm getting scared. Do you have some way to mill me? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope not. Um, Whiskash. <laughs> <Miss Fortune. laughs> I can actually. Yo, you could. Oh, oh. That would be so sick. All right, so I will psychic embrace one to Mew, yeah. and then it'll take two. I'll retreat into Screamtail. Uh, I don't think I want to shine Arcana because my deck's getting real thin. I think I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna boss Vibra. <laughs> I just think it's like funny. Let's just stick it. Eventually, B Rail's trapped and Screamtail snipes the whole board. It's crazy. Uh, assuming there's no second escape room, which I actually don't know if there is, but hopefully there isn't. Um, anything else I want to do? I don't think so. Uh, let's run Scream. Probably one prizer because I want to just go to two, and then I could maybe do some shenanigans with like Arcana or uh, the Gorgeous Mantle at the end to not go to Garchomp, but. Um, oh, and actually, yeah, Garchomp has a Terra trait, right? So I can't no! Snipe it. I can't snipe it. <laughs> they didn't make another so mistake. I'm gonna make sure I don't do that. I can if it's in the active, but uh, for now, I think we're just gonna pick off the small guy. So I'll, I'll Roaring Scream Lucario for now. Okay. okay. Rock turn. But I do have two more prizes lined up here, so I could just dodge the Garchomp if the Rope never moves. Ultra Ball, VIP Pass, and Barrel. 
Bank Down's got it, actually. Oh, you're cooked. Screamtail's yeah. broken. You're so cooked. Yeah, I, I have no way to switch out of the active spot right now. Do you even have energies left, or is it just over? Just one energy. I have prize three energies. Oh, no. There's three in here? I think there's like one, two in there right now. Oh, that's unfortunate. I mean, okay, there's, there's like a line of play. There's one, six, eight, eleven. You're gonna boss stick something? I have three energy in this Eleven. Turn. How are you boss sticking something? I have super rotten head. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're not boss sticking anything. Yeah, that's not great. Okay, I mean, I guess we can just try boss stalling. Sure, go <laughs> for it. I have three cards in deck and a super odd in hand. I'm finding it immediately. <laughs> uh, I'll go for it just in size, just drop three cards. Yeah. Boss man, <laughs> sure, bro. Uh, pass. Okay. Draw for turn. Super odd. Triple psychic. Oh fuck, Chris Land, just make this easy. I don't like it. I guess we're drawing cards. How many open deck? Three energy. You could whiff! <laughs> I could, but you ain't moving anytime soon. soon. What happens next turn? Yeah. <laughs> you ain't moving it. Let, let me cook, let you me cook. shuffle this for me? Sure. Go for it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay, Shining Arcana. I found one. I'll oh, one. no. <laughs> Retreat. Roaring scream! <laughs> ah. You have to scream when you announce the attack. Draw. I should have been doing that the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a leader. Uh, pass. Draw. Attach. Retreat. Roaring scream. Good Get game, Dan. <laughs> scream tells so broken. Yeah, I prized a lot of that. I just kind of sucked. Yo, this card's so sick. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, Screamtail impressed me, dog. Yo, if Save Light so does, cool. like doesn't exist, this card's broken. I mean, you can just run like Jirachi. You could, thing. you could. Right. The problem that I worry about is your board state starts to get like really thin. Also, if you do go over the damage cap, like you go to 100 damage on it and they play vacuum, like if any deck plays vacuum, yeah, it's yeah, 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 you can get knocked out. I was actually thinking about in the case where like I would need to just close the game, even if I give you a prize card, of vacuuming away my own charm, letting the Screamtail get knocked out. Putting a new one, attaching Gorgeous Mantle, and just blowing something up at the end. That's what, a terror. cool play. <laughs> cool play you could do yeah. for sure. Unfortunately, I don't think... I didn't set up really well in both games. The second game I set up a little bit better, but... I but think, thanks to Dan's I don't know. Yeah, that's actually kind of true. <laughs> but I think, yeah, I think Guard Trump X is kind of cool. I do like the fact that it's really sort of low maintenance. I kind of feel like... Playing Badoop, Barrel, and Mew is sort of like counter true because you just draw three with Mew and then draw the other two yeah. with the thing, which you could do with Curlia's engine instead. And I kind of feel like your hand clops up like, really quickly with this. Uh, I do I do like the low maintenance that Garchomp has. It has like good good damage for one energy to the active and also snipe, so it forces Manaphy down. It's pretty high HP, so not a lot of can KO it. Uh, I think that mainly, I think with all stage two decks, it just requires a little bit more setup. And the thing is, you don't have access to something like Profound and Curlia that the Gardevoir engine has. So you're, or you're really more reliant on getting the candies out. But I think it's I think it's pretty cool as a deck in general. Yeah. Uh, as for this, I, I was really happy with how it worked. I was mildly afraid. I, I did try and lean into it really hard, so I didn't just have the fear of like, oh, we're just playing Gardevoir. Um, but it wasn't even just like bad Gardevoir. It felt like really good. Uh, I didn't really end up using Drifloon much, but... That's just kind of matchup dependent on how the game flows. I'm more happy I utilize Screamtail over Drifloon anyways. Uh, and Screamtail is really cool. It's just, I, I think that it, even though Crest is a snipe damage potential in Gardevoir already, Screamtail can not only scale higher, it can do it way more consistently as well because you don't need to keep putting energy and damage counters on the board. Once they're on Screamtail, if your opponent doesn't answer it, I just do it again. Yeah. Uh, so you can find those sort of boss plays that like Lost Box does sometimes, like boss something on Sableye around it. You got the same idea with Screamtail there that I just completely won the game off of. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's really cool. Yeah, I, I do I do like Screamtail in general. I definitely think it's it could be a contender for a different way to play Gardevoir. I still think the yeah. guards. The I just think it has better. to be a meta where Lost Box kind of falls off. Like if Drachi does just cripple Drachi and Iron Hands coming out makes Lost Box meta share really fall off. This is actually really solid. Yeah. Yeah. 
And with all that said and done, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of these two decks, both very different, both very interesting new kind of archetypes and ways to play old cards that we already have. So um, yeah, very, very cool. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it, comment down below what you think of the decks, and subscribe to the Hitmon Channing channel because I'm posting multiple Pokemon trading card game videos every single week. And once again, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, Hitmon Channing out.